Here we have a little tricky question on logarithm in mathematics. That is, uh, what is the value of uh, log 1 to the base 1? Okay, we have three answer choices. So that is log 1 to the base 1 equals to 1, log 1 to the base 1 equals to 0, log 1 to the base 1, not defined. Okay, now uh, let's consider a logarithm that is uh, log x to the base a. Okay, whenever we have logarithm, uh, we will find uh, two values, one at the top, one at the bottom over here. So the value we have at the top is called argument of the logarithm. Okay, let me write. And uh, the value we have at the bottom is called base of the logarithm. Okay, now uh, already we know that the argument of a logarithm can never be zero. Always it has to be a positive value. That is the uh, value of x has to be greater than zero, the argument of a logarithm. Okay, now let's consider uh, the two important properties of logarithm. That is log a to the base a equals to 1 and uh, log 1 equals to 0. Okay, that is the first property. Just look, let's look at over here. So in any logarithm, if the argument and base are same, that is they are equal, then the value of such logarithm is 1. And also now let's consider the second property we have over here, that is log 1 is equal to 0. For any logarithm, if the argument is 1, its value is 0. Okay, now let's consider uh, the stuff what we have in our question, that is log 1 uh, to the base 1. Okay, here uh, in this logarithm, the argument and base, both of them are same. According to the property we have discussed over here, in our logarithm, if the argument and base are same, the value of such logarithm is 1. So here the argument is 1, the base is 1. So the value of this logarithm equals to 1. Okay, now let's uh, take uh, the same stuff again, that is uh, log 1 to the base 1. So here, uh, let's consider the property we have discussed over here. In any logarithm, if the argument is 1, uh, its value is 0. So in this logarithm, the argument is 1, so its, va its value has to be 0. Okay, now we get two results uh, for uh, the stuff over here in the question log 1 to the base 1. So the first result is uh, log 1 to the base 1 equals to 1. The second result is log 1 to the base 1 equals to 0. So we find this result in option A and uh, we find the result 0 in option B. Okay, which, which option is correct? Option A or option B? And apart from the two options, there is one more option uh, in our question that is log 1 to the base 1 uh, equals to not defined. So which option can be correct? Actually, option C only is correct. Option A is incorrect. Option B is also incorrect. So how option C is uh, correct? So because for any logarithm, let's consider a logarithm that is log uh, argument is x. And uh, if the base is 1, it's not defined. Let me write the stuff over here. So always we have to keep this tongue, uh, stuff in our mind. So for any logarithm, if the base is 1, so the value of the logarithm is not defined. So that's why uh, I'm saying that log 1 to the base 1 is not defined. So because the base of the logarithm over here is just 1, since the base of the logarithm over here is uh, just 1, so log 1 to the base 1 is not defined. So the logarithm cannot have the base 1. So that's the basic stuff. So why a logarithm cannot have the base 1? Why uh, the logarithm with base 1 is not uh, defined? Okay, now let's discuss this stuff in detail. Okay, for, before that, we have to understand the conversion of a uh, logarithm equation, equation to exponential equation. So that is, uh, let's consider the logarithmic equation that is log x to the base a equals to y. Okay, now we have this equation in uh, logarithmic form. I just want to convert this equation to exponential form. How do we have to convert this logarithm equation to exponential equation? So for that, what I need to do is I have to consider the stuff which contains logarithm. So here, uh, the stuff we have on the left side of the equation contains logarithm. So to convert this equation to exponential form, I have to move this log uh, with base a to the right side of the equation. So when I move this log base a to the right side of the equation, I just have x on the left side. So when the log base a is moved to the right side of the equation, we have to ignore this logarithm. We have to consider uh, the base alone on the right side. The value y which already exists on the right side will become the exponent of this base. So this is the exponential form of the equation log x to the base a uh, equals to y. Let me write it over here. So that is log x to the base a equals to y. So when I convert this one to exponential form, I am getting x equals to a to the yth power. So this is logarithmic form. This is exponential form. I just converted the logarithmic form to exponential form. Okay, now let's consider uh, log 1. Uh, to the base 1 equals to 1. Let me take option A. Uh, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually this equation is in logarithmic form. I'm going to convert this one to exponential form. So for that, I have to move this log uh, base 1 to the right side of the equation. Then we'll have 1 on the left side. So when I move this log base 1 to the other side of the equation, we have to ignore this logarithm. We have to consider this base uh, or 1 alone on the right side. The value which already exists on the right side will become the exponent of this base. 1 equals so 1 to the 1th power is still 1. Anyways, so when I use uh, the conversion uh, we have discussed over here in option A, uh, I'm getting a true statement. 
Okay, anyways, I'm just going to use the same uh, the conversion property over here. The second option B, let me do it. That is log one to the base one equals to zero. This is what we have in option B. Okay, again, I'm going to apply the same thing. That is, I'm going to convert this uh, logarithmic equation to exponential form. For that, I have to uh, move this log base one to the other side of the equation. Then I'm getting one equals to one to the zeroth power. One equals to uh, any non-zero number uh, to the zeroth power will always be this, will always result one. Again, uh, so even for uh, option B, I'm getting a true statement, one equals to one. So uh, it's confusing because uh, when I apply the conversion that is logarithmic to exponential in option A, I'm getting a true statement. Uh, when I apply the same conversion in option B, again, I'm getting a true statement. Okay, now let's consider the stuff over here, uh, log three to the base one. I just want to evaluate this logarithm. So here, uh, look at it, the base of the logarithm is one. Uh, I've already said, so whenever the base of the logarithm is one, uh, the value of such logarithm is not defined. Okay, now let's see how it is not defined. So here we have log three to the base one. I assume the value of this logarithm is x. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this equation to exponential form. It's already in logarithmic form. So to convert this equation to exponential form, I have to move this log base one to the right side of the equation. Then I have three on the left side. So when I move this log base one to the right side of the equation, I have to ignore this logarithm. I have to consider only the base one on the right side. The value which already uh, exists on the other side x will become the exponent uh, of this base one. Okay, so this is a statement I'm getting. Okay, so x can be, uh, let's consider, x can be any real value. So for example, if x is any real value, means it may take a positive value or negative value is zero. Okay, let me consider negative two, negative one, one, sorry, zero, uh, one, two. So uh, if I plug in any real value for x, will this equation be true? So if for all real values of x, if this equation is true, so we can accept that log three to the base one is defined. Okay, now let's check it. Uh, so for example, I'm going to plug in a negative two, some negative value for x, what will happen over here? So then it will become one to the negative second power. It can be written as one over one square. So one over uh, the value of one square is one. One over one is still one. So when I take a negative real value for x over here, it results uh, just one. So that means I'm getting three equals to one. It's not a logical, it's incorrect because three and one can never be equal. It's uh, for, we get, we're getting a false statement when I plug in x equals to negative two. Okay, what if I plug in uh, x is equal to uh, zero? So then uh, three equals to one to the zeroth power. What is its value? So the base is a non-zero number and the exponent is zero. Whenever uh, we have uh, exponent zero for a non-zero number, so its value is just one, three equals one. I am, again, I'm getting a false statement. What if, uh, if I apply a positive value for x? For example, if I take uh, x equals to one, one to the one, uh, one to the power, it's still one, three equals to one. Again, it's, we get a false statement. If I take uh, x is equal to two, it results one, three equals to one, it's a false statement. If I take x is equal to three, it's false. So uh, for any real value of x, uh, we don't get a true statement for this equation, three equals to one to the x power. So whatever value, whatever real value I plug in for x, always it results one. So three equals to one uh, is false. So, uh, so log three to the base one, if I try to find the value of this uh, logarithm, it is not defined because the uh, stuff we have discussed over here. For any real value of x, we don't get a true statement. We get a, always we get a false statement uh, for this equation. I mean, uh, when I try to find the value of x, so for any real value of x, this statement is uh, false. So log three to the base one uh, is not defined. So we conclude for any logarithm uh, with base one is not defined. So the log one to the base one, the given logarithm, uh, is having the base one. So this one is also not defined. So option C only is correct for the question, the, for the question, what is the value of log one to the base one?